So for today's video, it is all about the troubleshooting of our Daikin Reefer container. So come and join me in this new learning. So during the reefer rounds, I found out that this unit was stopped. It has an active alarm so all we need to do is to navigate the unit to see what is the alarm. You just need to press the select button 3 times and then the alarm will appear. So in this case, we are having an E109 alarm. And to check, the E109 alarm says that low pressure falls. And if the low pressure falls activated, there is two main reasons that I always consider. There is something that is blocking the unit or you don't have Freon in the system. To check that, we need to reset the unit and keep it running to see what will happen to the pressures. After the reset, then we need to navigate again the system and go to the HPT and LPT section to monitor what will happen once the compressor starts running you just need to press the select button and navigate until you will see the HPT and LPT HPT is for high pressure transducer and the LPT is for the low pressure transducer and now the compressor is running and as you can see the LPT is going negative until even more than minus 90. So we need to switch off the unit now so that we can protect the compressor. Since the LPT goes vacuum then it is assumed already that there is a blockage on the refrigeration flow. So you have to check two things, the filter dryer or the electronic expansion valve. In the case of this unit, there is already an icing on the EEV. So I already suspected that the EEV is already blocked. As you can see, the needle of the EEV coil is already dirty. And the EEV body is already frozen and stopped. So all we need to do is to clean both the EEV coil and the body. I painstakingly clean the EEV body with the small screwdriver with the use of the cotton cloth. You just need to be patient in cleaning this saw and please do not use paper as it may stuck on the body itself. So after cleaning the body, it is now ready to reinstall the coil. Mm -hmm. 
I use the Loctite for the thread to seal the unit. And I do not put silicone on the body as I believe that it doesn't help anything. After reinstalling the coil, it is now time to switch on the unit. Again, we need to navigate again the system to put on the HPT and LPT to monitor if the low pressure is still false. We just need to wait for the compressor to run. Normally, the sequence is that the unit will start the evaporator fan motors and then the condenser fan motor until it will run the compressor. And now, the compressor started running and as you can see, the LPT becomes stable closer to zero. Normally, the lowest value for the LPT that is acceptable to the unit is minus 25. And as you can see, the EEV does not get frozen anymore. We just need to keep the unit running until it will get the desired set point value. To give you a brief familiarization on the unit, let's start navigating the controller. So here, you will find the HPT which is the high pressure transducer, then the power transformer, the current reading for the current transformer, the ambient temperature, the inlet on the evaporator, and the outlet for the evaporator, the discharge temperature after your compressor, the opening of the suction modulation valve, and the opening of your expansion valve. So far, I am having 319 reefers on board and I do the rounds every day. So this is the same case as what we have on the previous video and the LPT drops at minus 86 and it, it stops the unit. So I hope we have the same trouble. So just like what I have said from my previous video that for the Daikin, the common trouble for this is the expansion valve and the filter dryer again i hope others will stop using the silicone in covering the body as it does not help anything and for this unit i did the same cleaning as what we did on the first unit and after running for some time the unit went in range So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you on my next video.